Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay y'all, so it turns out the reason why Blueface's brother never met his biological father is because Carlissa doesn't know who his biological father is. She recently revealed on her show that she was 17 when she got pregnant with Dre. She had a boyfriend and she was cheating on her boyfriend with her neighbor. So basically she doesn't know which one is the father. Dre said in the past that Carlissa named him after someone who is not even his father. But in actuality, she just doesn't know if it's his father or not. So now she wants to go find him so Dre can get closure, but they have to still take a DNA test to find out if the man he was named after is in fact his father. Anyway, here's a clip from Carlissa's show where she opens up about this because in the past, she was embarrassed. That's true. I mean, because it does start from childhood, so that's one step. I mean, closer. I feel like it would just empower him to be able to sit amongst everyone yeah. else in the room mm -hmm. because it's hard to, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to look at everybody else and know they have something that you never had. That's true. If that makes sense. Yeah. And then seeing something, you know, you can see this person has these traits or, oh, I do that too. You know, that gives somebody like solidarity, you know? So I'm gonna put a plan together. I'm gonna talk to Don today. I'm gonna okay. try to put a plan together to go look for him. I have no idea where to start. The last time I heard anything, he wasn't doing very well. And he lived out in Florida somewhere. Okay. So. Is Dre on board with this? She didn't seem like that was a good idea. She wasn't interested. I didn't think that, I didn't get like a positive um, vibe from Katie. Um, so I would probably be overstepping my boundaries in doing this because she didn't she didn't yeah. agree to it. OK, so but I mean, I, I, I it's got to happen eventually. So, I mean, I guess you forced I mean, the you hand. Kind of dealt with this. How do you feel about it? I did. I did deal with it. I wanted to, but I wanted to know who I was. So he has to want to know where he came from, you know, because it's a, I didn't find out until I was 23. I'm you know, that's it's a crazy situation. And Dre is in his 30s now. And as a man, I, you know, he might want to know that. He's not probably going to say out loud, oh, I don't care, you know, you got to hold up that macho I just image. feel bad that I'm just, just now getting to a place of comfortability within myself yeah. to be transparent enough because I'll be honest. I mean, I could get there. We could get this blood test done and he might not be Dre's dad. Wait, did you say blood test? <laughs> Wait, so we looking for somebody we don't even know if he's the one. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Don't try to. Okay. It wasn't that bad. I mean, you know the missions you I have had us a on sometimes. And I had a neighbor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had a street nigga and a home nigga. So if it's not one, <laughs> it's the other. Yeah, I totally. I I was 17 years old. Yeah. You know. What we I'm made saying? a lot of mistakes at 17. I made a so. lot of mistakes, and you know, just not knowing it and being embarrassed about not knowing. Yeah. I ran. And that was the only yeah. thing I could do. Like, you know, it's not his dad's fault. It's not my fault. You know what I'm saying? It's we not, were just young. Yeah. And I, honestly, I believe that I tried to get in touch with him a couple times. You did say he has siblings, right? Does he have siblings? That I know of. His father had one other kid that I know of. Do we know where he's at? Does he know of things? I mean, we could pro possibly start there. I've been looking yeah. on Facebook. His dad doesn't have a Facebook. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have an Instagram. I, I don't know. I, I don't know where to start. Okay, so if you know some of the family members, then we can also do... I've gone do... through all the family members, and either they're refusing to help me, mm. or they really don't know where he is. Okay. So another avenue that we can take is, like, one of those 23 me's, and his relatives will pop up. So if those are some of the relatives, then we'll know for sure who we're looking for. So we can start that, too, as well as look for him, and then we'll know for sure. That's a good avenue to take. Now okay. you might gotta sneak some DNA a little bit, but <laughs> we gotta do I'm something. I'm so nervous, like this is so crazy. But you were 17. I know, but still, like if you were you right like, now, he is not the father. <laughs> if you were you right now, you know what the internet would do to you again. I mean, I don't give a fuck what they do at this point. I was <laughs> this is 50 year old ass, okay? <laughs> that was 17 year old ass. And the I'm whole not internet knows for the 50 year old ass. ass. I'm responsible. Thanks, Bray. Yeah. It was really an accident. I know it was. That's why we can have Do you fun. believe me? 
I do, I do. You do, you move too fast. I keep saying this, I keep saying this. Now I feel like I'm gonna have to approve the Cause I feel like post. if I showed them like the breakdown of what I did, even some of those pictures were like I seen it, they all look the same. Some of them were the same. And I know you. And I didn't have my reading glasses on, so I picked the 10 best pictures. And, you and the did. one with my tongue out, I didn't even see that that was one of the pictures that I chose. So I don't understand how they don't know yeah. what I did. Because they don't know you. No, they know I'm the saying, internet like, you. When you pick 10 pictures out, you have to actually like go and look at them. I, I went know, back that's what I'm to saying. See, like, He's going to say we just trying to use it for the show, but I'm like, Regardless of the show, it's like, it's real. It's, this is real life and this is a situation. The only fucking problem that I have is that I'm not sure if that's really his dad. I just- See, there you go. Tips on on them boundaries. So I don't know. I don't know if it's a good I mean, idea. You're his, you you're his good friend. You know, yeah. what do you think? You think I should just, I mean, I feel like going into counseling without him having what he needs is just all I need you to do is just talk to the bitch and see if she if she's still with him or not because he doesn't have an Instagram I've talked to everybody that I could to try to figure it out yeah I really feel like this might be a good place for us to start for him well oh, definitely yeah we could we could touch we could touch bases so you would call her <laughs> I might have to make the call I don't know uh I definitely I definitely make the call for you have you talked to John here and there, you know, John, he just doing his own thing. Oh, Did he say anything about the ass picture? Because he ain't talking to me right now. Nah, <laughs> none of them, they ain't none of them talking to they me. They don't right. want to bring it up. I see double XL posts. I see everybody posts it. So it's going viral. It's going crazy. I did not. I swear it was an accident. Yeah, it's, so it's you know, they kind of, you're the mom. So at the end of the day, it's. Yo, so I came out to meet Carlissa today. Fuck, man, it's a little awkward for me because my boy is his mom and she just put her ass on the whole fucking internet for everybody to see. But it's all in a bad position, so we're trying to see uh, how everybody feel about it. Yes, it's a fucked up situation, but yeah. I mean, they've embarrassed me on the internet way more than I've embarrassed. Yeah, oh, you ain't fucking with it. <laughs> they ain't showing the ass on the internet. <laughs> they showing the ass every day. They're not acting how I raised them. It was yeah. an accident. It was a simple everybody accident. Everybody makes mistakes, so. I, mean, I did, but you can't look at me. <laughs> hey, it don't pass on with time. Yeah, we could definitely make something happen as long as Dre don't flip out. You know what I'm saying? That we he could. don't flip out. You know, he did, he doesn't really realize like what's good for him until it's already in motion. That's why yeah. I'm like, I feel like if we if we just do it, he'll just be like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, and also he has a baby. His his you know the the grandpa might want to see his grandchild yeah, before we leave this earth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So, okay, I'm gonna do it. I just need you to. I just need you to make the call. I make the call. Just do me a favor. No more ass pictures, bro. <laughs> Sorry, Don. Nah. Don nah, don't even want me close. No more. To no more booty photos. So I understand that Carlissa was embarrassed that she didn't know who the father was, but at the same time, I think she should have just got a DNA test when the baby was born. But to wait 30 years to actually get a DNA test for your son is actually wild. I feel like she could have at least done it when he was a small child so that it didn't affect his life as much as it has. It was definitely selfish of her to wait that long to find out who her child's father is just because you're embarrassed that you cheated on your boyfriend with the neighbor. I think it's pretty crazy that she was embarrassed, but now she's on the internet telling all her business and all her kids business so it's pretty clear that she has gotten past being embarrassed but it's actually starting to make sense why dre resents her so much because at the end of the day any child will resent their primary parent for withholding their other parent from them or for withholding them from their other parents either way there's going to be resentment Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching.